Hey, John again here, and uh, today we're talking about the Semi and the Hardware 4 that we're seeing on it during the Gigafactory event, the Cyber Rodeo. If you guys haven't already heard about that, the whole hype is pretty much about that event. And if you guys want to search up, uh, it's available pretty much on the Tesla website for you to rewatch. But uh, let's talk about the Hardware 4 that is uh, pretty much guaranteed to come in the next year or so. Now, I'm not 100%, but uh, this is the first glimpse of it we have seen so far. This is on the Semi, the Tesla Semi that is supposedly going to be coming out very, very soon. There is additional sensors on there. And when I talk about sensors, I really just mean cameras. With Tesla, they really scrapped the whole idea of LiDAR and radar and pretty much all the other goodies out there. They're pretty much just relying on the cameras themselves. But it doesn't mean that Hardware 3 is capable of full self-driving. Now, I know you guys have heard a full self-driving beta is pretty much all around the web. If you are lucky enough to be in Canada or the US, you're able to just install it in your car after purchasing the FSD beta and keeping a proper safety score. That is when the car essentially drives itself while you monitor it. Although there are scenarios that the car is not going to perform very well and that has to do with the cross traffic and the weather and pretty much when the cameras get blocked by dirt, by water, by snow, by pretty much anything and this is where Hardware 4 comes into play. Alright, so the biggest concern with Hardware 3 right now is the cross traffic and where the camera placements are. If you guys aren't already aware, the camera that faces forward is right at the pillar right behind your seat and the camera that takes care of vision from the back is pretty much on your fender the left and the right and that's pretty much it there is no other cameras that get a good view of the side of you all right so for those of you guys that don't know what cross traffic is uh, and you're living in some other country uh, in Asia especially there's probably no such thing as cross traffic but it's pretty much just the traffic that runs horizontal to you and impedes you from going forward you really have to check both left and right on both sides just to make sure you are good and all clear to go no matter how all the FSD beta videos out there say that is good enough is not good enough because the camera is so far behind that it's just pretty much impossible physically it's not possible now just take a look at yourself when you drive and you're trying to peek out you shift your head forward trying to see if there's traffic going from the left and on the right well the camera really can't shift its head and realistically it's even behind you so the only way it would really work is for the car to literally drive out and poke its head out to the point where you're literally in the lane so this this means that they have to add additional cameras. I don't know how they're going to do it eventually for all the mainstream cars, but the first one here is on the semi. It looks like there is an additional camera pointing literally straight out and maybe that gives them a better point of view because if you take a look at it, it's in front of you. It's not behind you like the pillar camera. It's where the mirror placements are and that is really far uh, in front of you. That likely is going to be enough to just see where the cross traffic is and allow you to proceed safely when FSD is enabled. Alright, so even though I say this, hardware 4 might really just mean that the computer hardware 4 is going to be upgradable, just like from hardware 2 to hardware 3, all the cameras pretty much stays the same. Now the other side of it is the car is just bigger. The semi is gigantic compared to a car and it needs all these additional sensors to just see pretty much what the smaller cars can see. So practically this is not hardware 4 we're seeing here and it's probably hardware 3.2, 3.5 or something along that line uh, specific to the semi. All right, and the last one here that gives me a little bit of a doubt that this is a hardware for is the fact that some of the camera placements don't really make sense either. There's one triangular piece that you can see in this image here, and that's sort of pointing backward. I know that this is probably uh, one of those new sensors that can self-clean from the inside. It has heating elements and whatnot. And then on the last one here, this is very, very unlikely, but maybe they are adding 360 surround view camera for parking or whatever on the semi. Maybe it's just really hard to park the semi and they want to make it a lot easier. So uh, they added the additional camera there, which can self clean apparently, which is awesome. And hopefully it makes its way onto the rest of the lineup of cars. But yeah, that pretty much is it for the hardware 4 aspect of it. Uh, it's just 50 50 at this point. Nothing has been confirmed. Just seeing the additional camera means that they are adding to the sensor suite and it is upgradable eventually. I think there's a chance that Tesla might just take the mirrors off of the Model 3 
do some additional wiring and then you have some cross traffic cameras looking out. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty excited for just all these things coming up and Hardware 4 is very, very likely to be coming this year. Uh, there is going to be the Hardware 4 computer, which Elon has even talked about it in the Hardware 3 announcement. So that is 100% guaranteed. I'm just thinking about what the Hardware 4 sensor is going to be like. So anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video and my thoughts. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And if you guys want to drop a comment, just letting you know how stupid this is, uh, please feel free to do so. This is John once again. Peace out.